I wanted to bring you up to speed with one of the key questions I'll be asking uh, about Noah. And it's at the very start of his uh, journey. We know he left his house at 5.31 on the 21st of June 2020. And he told his mom his intended destination was Cave Hill. Was that, in fact, his intended destination? Was that in his mind? Well, it's a matter of conjecture. It's, uh, it's confusing and inevitably there are a number of anomalies here. But let me bring you through this. Uh, first of all, there was an arrangement of sorts, an arrangement that you'd expect from teenagers, a badly arranged, this is not forensic tolerances, these are teenagers making ad hoc arrangements by text. And we know there was an arrangement of sorts which Noah had agreed to. He'd, he'd said yes, the calf. We also know that there was an attempt to cancel that meeting by one of his friends, a suggestion that bad weather was coming in and there was a definitive no. It seems Noah was not aware of that. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't, but it appears uh, that he did not read that message. So it was very likely that Noah believed uh, he was continuing to meet his friends and an arrangement of some sort was still in play. Well, let's imagine that uh, that's what he believed. If that was uh, still in your mind, uh, then uh, having never been to Cave Hill, which was the case for Noah, you might then uh, presume that somebody like that would do an internet search of Cave Hill before he cycled off there uh, for the first time to meet his friends. Uh, and that is, in fact, what Noah did. His very last internet search at 1634, 56 minutes before he left his home in Fitzroy Avenue in the south of the city um, to cycle somewhere entirely different, um, he searched up Cave Hill, something you would do if that was your intended destination. Well, it's a very curious uh, thought, isn't it? He certainly searched for it. There was a bit of planning in play, but of course, he never cycled that direction. More questions another time.